I don't know what happened. He just got. Box five three six four. I'm outside. Market walk. It's urgent assistance required. Right. The time is. 13.32 and at the moment I'm arresting you on possession with intent to supply right. class A. Yeah, there you go, just try it over. Just it over. Just it over. You stupid! Criminals come in all shapes and sizes, from the cunning to the careless. The Essex police have tirelessly locked away those who deserve time behind bars. Join us as we uncover some of their most significant cases in the relentless pursuit of justice. This is Audit Oblivion. You have the right to like, comment and subscribe. Anything you do can and will help us make more amazing content. You have the right to share this video with your friends. If you do not have any friends, consider joining our family where you can find like-minded individuals. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Marek Hecko, a 26-year-old resident of Rooks Crescent Chelmsford, was found guilty of murder at Chelmsford Crown Court and sentenced to life in prison, with a minimum of 26 years. The case began when the Essex and Kent Serious Crime Directorate launched an investigation after 44-year-old Adrian Ellingford was brutally assaulted at a residence in Nelson Grove, Chelmsford. As officers secured the scene, a heavily intoxicated Marek Hecko approached, brandishing a bottle of brandy. Who are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a I can help her. What's going on? Uniform one night. Yeah, I can help her. What's going on? Yeah. Claiming to know what had transpired, he offered his assistance. No, I know what happened. I know the people they involved. So. Go again. Yeah. But need to dig deep, you know. Thank you. What's your name? I'm not gonna tell you my name. I don't give a f because I know what happened. I needed me to know, figure it out, what happened. If you don't have me, you don't know what happened. During custody, Hecko was identified as the main suspect. I just for know a... that some guy come here. Yeah. And he f up some guy. I don't know what, what happened. Right. I don't know what happened. He just got f Hecko becomes more drunk and confrontational towards the officer. In an arrogant, drunken state, he claims you think it is me. But there is no proof. You're gonna think about me, but it's not gonna be me because there's no proof. So, so you think something's happened to a male in this address? No, I know what happened. What I happened then? Tell I me what everything. happened. This city is mine. I'm not gonna This tell city you is yours, is it? Yeah, this city is mine. His confrontational behaviour led to his immediate arrest. Can you get in the van, please? Uh, uh, You've been arrested, okay? We're trying I've to been arrested, yes. Yeah. So send me the law. We're trying not, so, okay, we're trying send me. not to manhandle you, but we need you to get in the van. During the trial, Hecko attempted to mislead the court, asserting that he learnt of the incident through news reports. Yet, no such reports were available online or on social media at the time. The court heard that Adrian Ellingford had been with a former partner of Hecko on the night of his death. Testimonies revealed Hecko's disturbing stalking behaviours towards her. The jury delivered a unanimous guilty verdict and Hecko was sentenced to life in prison for a minimum term of 26 years. PC Ryan McNamara was out on a regular patrol in Saffron Walden Town Centre on the 7th of March 2024 when he heard shouts. Get off me! You're under arrest! For what? Under arrest! PC McNamara confronts a male. Seeing the suspect resisting arrest, a member of the public came to Ryan's assistance. Get down! Get down! Oh, yeah. Get down! Oh, yeah. Right, you're under arrest. All oh, right. On suspicion of robbery. You do not oh, say anything. We may have a defense. We don't mention your question. Oh, no. oh. Today, we're not in court. <laughs> anything you do, say, may give us evidence. Box 364. I'm outside. Market walk. It's urgent assistance required. Following a brief struggle, James Happer was placed under arrest on suspicion of robbery. Happer was later convicted for stealing £30,970 of jewellery. On the 1st of December 2023, patrolling officers in Basildon caught a drug dealer red-handed, disrupting his plan to supply a Christmas party with illegal substances. During a routine traffic stop, officers found 30-year-old Thomas Sultan behind the wheel of a Range Rover. Sultan appeared notably nervous and agitated. 
Is there anything in the vehicle at the moment that shouldn't be? Because no. obviously that's ringing alarm bells for me. Okay. Honesty is the best policy. Yeah. Have you got anything on you or in that vehicle that shouldn't be? No, it's just, it's just okay. Have you got the car kit? In the boot, officers discovered party bags filled with Christmas crackers, sweets and grip-sealed bags of ketamine. They also found nitrous oxide canisters with balloons. You want to take a seat in my car for me, mate? Just jump in the back. Right, the time is 13.32 and at the moment I'm arresting you on possession with intent to supply class A, okay? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention one question subject to later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Yes, thank you. Can I have that key, please? Yeah. That's all right, thank you. Thank you. Following Thomas Salton's arrest, police executed warrants at his home in Hunters Court, Brentwood, and two storage units in the Vangie area. At the storage units, officers uncovered a vacuum sealed bag of psilocybin mushrooms, additional bags of ketamine, and 17 boxes containing 408 nitrous oxide canisters. Salton appeared at South End Crown Court, where he admitted to possession with intent to supply Class B and Class C drugs, possession of a Class A drug, psilocybin mushrooms for personal use, and possession of criminal property. He was sentenced to 35 months imprisonment. This is Damon Wager, a known cocaine supplier, who became the focus of an intensive investigation. Operating from his home in Witham, Wager's illicit activities were closely monitored. During the surveillance period, Wager was observed visiting the residence of a known supplier on five separate occasions within just 15 days. On his final visit, a suspicious exchange was noted between Wager and Fieldson. Shortly after this exchange, officers conducted a traffic stop on Wager's Range Rover along the A12. Yeah, there you go. Straight over. Throwing it over. Throwing it over. Throwing it over. Open the door! Did it look right? Yeah. Yep. Serious organised crime unit carried out coordinated strikes at addresses linked to the organised criminal group in Chelmsford and Witham, making arrests and seizing cocaine, cannabis and large sums of cash. Those involved in the conspiracy have been handed prison terms totalling almost 30 years. Wager was part of the group and was sentenced to six years. On the 14th of January 2020, PC Chantelle Fazifar stepped in after a violent driver dragged her colleague down the road with his moving vehicle after a routine traffic stop in Sh When the suspect vehicle stopped, the man started to punch the officer. Thankfully, Chantel had chased the vehicle. She attempted to get the man off her colleague, and despite being punched in the head herself, she was able to use her CS spray and call for backup. When the man ran off, Chantel continued to chase him. <laughs> Chantel continued to follow the man, all the while updating officers on their location. Oh, very bad, Chafford. <laughs> appeared to be under the influence 
and although Chantelle was visibly shaken, she was determined not to let the fugitive escape. Hey, do not touch me! What are you doing? When the man attempted to climb a gate, Chantel detained him until other officers arrived to assist with the arrest. The man was later jailed for four years and three months after admitting assault causing actual bodily harm, assaulting an emergency worker, dangerous driving and failing to provide a specimen for analysis. Boris Bentik was sentenced to 19 and a half years in prison following a broad daylight shooting in Lakeside Retail Park. In September 2022, a man was shot at a retail centre in Lakeside. The men involved had total disregard to human life as they discharged a firearm in a public place. Rio Burton Devine was identified as the shooter, whilst Bentic watched on. Speed 7-0, wrong way uh, through centre bollards. On Sunday the 9th of October 2022, the vehicle in which Forrest Bentic was travelling was pursued by officers in Waltham Abbey. The vehicle continues, uh, A104 Epping New Roads. Uh, approximately 50 metres, wrong way round the roundabout, wrong way round the roundabout. Just entering the village now, it's on the offside up to a T-junction, currently bolted on the pavement, on the pavement. Let's turn right right into Ho Lane, uh, currently at Lambourne Road, Chigwell Road, stand by. We've had contact uh, with a member of the public, it's gone left left Lambourne Road uh, towards Grange Hill. Yeah, it's turned into Brockett Way. Once again, Bentick showed a total disregard for public safety in his selfish attempt to escape. However, evading a helicopter proved to be easier said than done. Yeah, it's a decamp. Male's gonna, it looks like the male, um, yeah, he's got a bag in his hand. He's walking on the street. He's got uh, grey clothing, grey tracksuit with a night tick on the front. Uh, make it off. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, officers got him on the ground currently. Firearm officers apprehended Bentick, who was in possession of a loaded firearm. A knife was concealed in the waistband. Forrest Bentick was sentenced to 19 and a half years in prison. Sergeant Mark Jones was on patrol in South End, part of a targeted operation to maintain safety and apprehend individuals intent on committing crimes. Just a day before this footage was captured, Sergeant Jones had narrowly missed catching a Class A drug dealer who fled downhill on a bike. However, the dealer's victory was short-lived. The next day, Sergeant Jones spotted the same man. This time, on foot, it was a level playing field and the odds were even as Sergeant Jones gave chase once again. Stay where you are. Stay exactly where you are. Stop fighting, all right? Stop fighting. Stay exactly where you are. Stay where you are. You're not going to get away, are you? Just let me take that off you in case you get tangled around you. Stay as you are. There you are. Oh. 
Can you get off me? No. Right, you're not going anywhere, all right? Right, give us your hands. I'm going to pick your handcuffs and I'll let you up. Right, now you can come up. All right, come on. Come on, then. From one fast-paced arrest to another, meet PC Luke Watson, the acting sergeant for the Waltham Abbey Town Team. Luke boasts a 100% record in foot chases against suspects. In nearly six years as a police officer, no one attempting to flee has ever escaped him. Motor vehicle, you don't have to say anything. 329, it's crashed. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I have two more detained. Can I have more units to me, please? Thank you for watching Audit Oblivion. Leave us a like, it helps with the algorithm. And if you are new here, consider giving us a follow. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.